가볼게요. G20 leaders have approved a joint statement at their summit in Delhi, which covered a wide range of issues affecting the global economy, including climate change and food supply, after compromising on language regarding Russia's invasion of Ukraine. 인도 뉴델리에서 열린 주요 20개국 G20 정상회의에서 공동 선언 합의가 이루어졌습니다. 이번 선언은 러시아 우크라이나 전쟁 관련 표현의 합의를 보면서 이후 기후 변화와 식량 공급망 등 세계 경제에 영향을 미치는 광범위한 주제까지 담아낸 것으로 알려졌습니다. Okay, so the G20 has wrapped up. Uh, let's have a look at the story a little bit. Tell us about it. Yeah, I think the big one here is that uh, they're allowing the supplies to be delivered properly through the Black Sea. They're calling it the, the Black Sea Grain Deal. And there's a lot of uh, African countries that I guess are not receiving uh, proper supplies, which normally come from Russia and the Ukraine. But because mm -hmm. obviously there's conflict going on right now, they're not receiving the sort of food supplies and other stuff that they should be. 네. 어, 사실 이제 러시아 우크라이나 문제에 관해서는 지난 G20 정상회의 때와 크게 달라진 어, 모습은 아닙니다만 그래도 이제 러시아의 여러 가지 반대가 예상됐었는데 아, 그나마 조인트 스테이트먼트 공동 선언문 자체가 나온 것으로도 유의미하다. 그 외에 다른 문제들에 관해서는 이제 국가들이 한 마음이 된 모습을 볼수 있습니다. Especially when it comes to the global economy, I think they were all on the same page there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and like you said, uh, with uh, the the grain shortage and and the that as well as the climate change, uh, there's all sorts of things that uh, they're talking about. It mm. wasn't just one thing. Exactly. 자 그래서 첫 번째 표현인데요. A wide range of issues. Exactly. It wasn't uh, one specific talk, uh, topic that was uh, the biggest concern. It was uh, a very wide range of issues, meaning it was broad. There was something talking about food shortages, but then they're also talking about climate change. Mm. And then they're also talking about the language of what was going on between Russia and the Ukraine. So these are all very different things the range of it was yeah. very wide. So there wasn't one specific issue. Mm. There were a lot of different, very different things. Exactly. You could maybe use this expression at a restaurant or somewhere where they have loads of different foods to choose from. That's right. They have a wide range of foods. It's maybe mm. not just Mexican, but maybe it's Mexican, Italian, American, uh, maybe Korean as well. <laughs> Korean, uh, just, Chinese, yeah. Japanese. Yeah. They have all sorts of things. They've got a wide range of selections mm. on their menu. 그렇게 말할 수도 있겠죠. A wide range라는 것 자체가 광범위하다라는 뜻인데 이슈는 여기서 이제 여러 주제들이 아, 이 공동 선언문에 담겼다 그런 것들을 다뤘다라는 뜻이 되겠고요. What about the verb to compromise? Yeah, when you compromise, you're basically accepting less than what you were expecting. I think uh, you have expectations, and if you're compromising, then you're saying, okay, like I'll take less of that. But then I want you to compromise by taking less of this. So mm. you're, you're trying to come to an agreement on something. And when you compromise, you're somewhat going away, not completely fulfilled yeah. with what you wanted. But you're usually doing it in order to get a deal done. 네, 타협하다, to compromise. Give us an example sentence. Yeah, uh, both sides compromised more than they wanted, but the deal got done. 음, 양측 다 처음 생각했던 거 이상으로 타협을 했지만 이제 절충을 했다는 의미겠죠. The deal got done. 결국은 그래서 합의가 이루어졌다. 자, 다시 한번 우리 세 번째 헤드라인 제가 읽어보겠습니다. G20 leaders have approved a joint statement at their summit in Delhi, which covered a wide range of issues affecting the global economy, including climate change and food supply, after compromising on language regarding Russia's invasion of Ukraine. 어, 제가 하나 더 설명하고 싶은 부분은요. 여기서 language라는 것은 언어를 말하는 게 아니라 표현을 말하고 있습니다. Yeah, exactly. The the selection of words that uh, they're using mm. in order to clarify because sometimes, you know, there's 
a lot of words that mean the same thing, no. but there are slight differences within those mm. words that ever change the meaning of it so subtly. Yeah, and when you have a joint statement coming out of a summit, every single word is important. Exactly. Okay.